Good morning, roommate kindergartners, and happy April. <laughs> I'm Miss Root, and this is your morning message. <laughs> April Fools! Good morning, good morning. We have August is here. August is here to help us with our morning meeting. It's kind of a party. And Grace is here. And we have Chevia and Xavier. And even Kieran is here today. It is going to be an April Fools morning meeting today. So August is going to help us with part of our calendar and days in school. He's going to stand right over here. Before we get started, though, we have to get some pictures for the Wall of Fame. August is going to help me get these up. Our first picture is from our Summa. Look at what our Summa's doing. She is baking. It looks like she's baking cupcakes. Very cool. Would you go ahead and put that up, August? August, you yes. to put that on the wall of fame. We have, I love these pictures. We have many pictures from Clementine. We'll put one up today. Here's Clementine on her couch, looking very happy. Hello, Clementine, we're glad to see you. Put her up on the wall of fame. I'm gonna show you the other ones. We'll put these up a little later. We have Clementine in her backyard. Looks like she's having a rock picnic. No, I think she's painting rocks with her sister. Dahlia. We have Clementine doing sticker art on her body. Very cool, very cool. No, that's Marlo. That's not Marlo, that's uh, Clementine. We have Clementine and her sister doing a jewelry shop in their basement, it looks like. Maybe, jewelry shop. And my favorite, Clementine and her dad. <laughs> Doing dress up. He is, who is he? Is he Mr. Marvel? Who is he? He's Mr. Marvel. Uh huh. Superhero time. I also got a wonderful piece of writing from Diego yesterday. He said, I like hamburgers. Remember yesterday we were writing about hamburgers or hot dogs, which do you like? And uh, I Isaac sent one, but I haven't printed it out yet. So I love that you're sending me stuff. Keep sending it. My wall of fame is going to be covered. It's going to be covered before you know it. With all of your pictures, we're going to have to go all over Miss Root's dining room. Today is, do it with me, August, April 1st, 2020. 20. 20. Today is April 1st. We call it April Fool's Day. The 1st of April is April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day is a day when you can play jokes and um, do pranks on your family or friends. Oh, please stop. Please go sit over there. And so today in our morning message, we might have some pranks. April 1st. It is a Wednesday. If I go to the top of my column, I'll see my W for Wednesday. Wednesday. And if I go down the column, I can count how many Wednesdays are in April. Let's count them together. Let's count. One, count with me, I can't hear you. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. Seven. There are five Wednesdays in April. Today, April 1st, is the second Wednesday. April Fools is the first, is the first Wednesday. All right, an abbreviated, abbreviated means short, short, abbreviate is short, an abbreviated way to write April 1st, 2020 is 4-1-20. What does the 4 represent? The year. The year? Yes. No, it's April. April is our fourth month. April is our fourth month. April is our fourth month. What does the 1 represent? The day. The day. Today is April 1st. And the 20 represents the year. The year. It is uh, the last two digits in 2020. April 1st, 2020. On our calendar, we have a pattern. Do it with me, August. A pattern. Repeat. A pattern. Repeat. Repeat. What do you think our pattern is? <laughs> what do you think our See on this beautiful April 1st, uh, 2020, uh, the skies are looking a little cloudy, but not too cloudy. So we are having a solid overcast weather today. <laughs> overcast so, weather? Where that means it's 
cloudy. <laughs> and cloudy, what's your evidence? How do you know? I would say that because the sky looks awfully gray and not blue. Ah, good evidence. Very nice. And we what? have our new graph. Here's our April graph. I'm doing it in purple because purple is my favorite color. The normally I think of April is a pink month. Mm. Would you fill in the box for which one this is? This. Cloudy. Second. Okay. It's the second. Cloudy day. Cloudy. So already we're getting our graph ready here. For somebody who's never been to Seattle, what would we tell them April is like? Sucks. Uh, <laughs> Cloudy for rainy, rainy second. Um, I would say it's uh, pretty overcast and rainy, but at the very end, uh, you see a little bit of sunshine. All right, so we're going to see if your prediction is correct. By the end of April, we need to have some sunny, cloudy, and maybe a little bit of rain. Yeah. Kind of like March. That sounds like March to me. All right, how many days have we been at home? August, what's our number? I need to do it. What's our number? Oh. Can I do it? 21. 21! How many ones are in 21? Mama made two hands. How many ones are in oh. 21? 21. <laughs> 21 is how many ones? One. Ah, good! <laughs> Gardner's are smarter than a 16 year old. Doing great. <laughs> April Fools. And how many tens are in 21? Two. Two! Be <laughs> good. One, two. Hey, Tavia, can you find 21 on our numbers chart? All right, then move out of the way, son. Go ahead and find 21 on our numbers chart. Where's 21, August? Here. Aha! And what is one way we can count 21? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> count by ones. By ones! You can count any number by ones. Did, you know? Did you know? Oh, good, you knew that. What's another way we could count to 21? Zero. By fives. Can we? No. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check. Let's check. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Mm -mm. Can't do it. What's another way? By sevens. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of a fourth grade way. We're not going to do uh, that. My sevens are threes, but we can't really. I think. Can we one, count by twos? No. No, because it's a pattern and it doesn't fit the pattern, yeah. right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Nope. 21 doesn't fit it. We can count by tens. 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 You can count by tens starting at any number. You look confused, which makes me know that nobody taught you this. Miss Ruth did not do her job 10, 20, 16 years ago. All right. You can start at any number and go down the column and count by ten because every row is ten more, 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 ten more. Did you know that? Yeah. Ha ha ha. And so, if the last digit, the digit in the ones place is the same, we know it's ten more. Did you know that? Yeah. Let's check it. One, 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 one. Hmm, I don't know where my other one went. One, 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 one. Aha. Uh -huh. So we can count by ones. One, eleven, twenty-one. What would come next, August? Thirty-one. Forty-one. Fifty-one. Sixty-one. Seventy-one. Eighty-one. Ninety-one. Yeah. All right, yeah. here we go. We're gonna count by ones. Turn to the camera, they all wanna see you do it. What oh. are we gonna do with our body when we count by ones? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you can fix something. We could reach the sky, we could do opposite hand to opposite leg, we could jump, I don't like that one. Wavy we could do man. wavy man, we could tap, we could do wiggle it just a little bit. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, opposite hand, opposite leg. Opposite hand on opposite knee. Don't hit your... Uh, all right, come on over. Let's do it. And August... No, no, no. August, what number do we start on when we're counting by ones? One. One. The clue is in the question. All right, get your arms out. Let's do it. Ready? I want to hear everybody's voice. Ready? Yes. Tell us when to start, August. All right. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six... six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right. Counting by tens. You can't start at any number. You count by tens. We're gonna start at the one. What are we gonna do with our body? I need two. Um, we reach for the sky. We're gonna reach for the sky. What do we start on when we're counting by tens? 21. One. Because look, the ones digit is one. We ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. 
Hands ready? Go ahead, yeah. August, when you're ready. One, One. eleven, twenty-one. 21. <laughs> Very nice. Easy. Very nice that. Easy, easy, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. But this one was 99. Ah! All right, here we are. What is this? This is our morning message. We have three sight words this week. What is one of our sight words? Wood. Wood. Let's spell the letters in wood. W-O-U-L-D, wood. What is another one of our words? Her, her. Let's spell the letters in her. H-E-R, her. And what is our last word? Kieran, what is it? What's our last sight word? Make. Make. Let's spell make. You're getting the sound right, but this, this is the word make. It starts with the mm. Make. M-A-K-E. Our Sema like to make a cake or make cupcakes. All right. Letter pairs are two letters that come together and make a new sound. We have our TH, which is my favorite because we go We have SH, which are our silent CH. WH, just like a W. We have AR, the pirate. R, our summer, and Arham, the pirate to roommate. E, e, I'm free to see the trees with Shawnee. A, Y, I like to play every day and say A. E, R, mother, brother, sister, father, Ebenezer, Alexander, Oliver, Er. O, U, ow, 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 ow. C, K, a cut and a cut and a cut. O-R, is it a sight word or a letter pair or Morgan has the sight, uh, no he doesn't have the sight word in his name, he's got the letter pair, Morgan, or O-W, owl, ow, E-W, ew, broccoli stew, ew, for the bunny, not for you, A-I, rain, A, 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 O I oi, you boy, give me that toy. Or a pencil. Ooh. Oh, oh, root, ooh. Oh, oh, rooty toot, toot, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And our word chunk. Oh, careful, get some water. I N G. Our word chunk, ing. I like to swing in the spring with my ring and sing, ing. I G H has our wacky G H. It just says wacky stuff and it makes an I sound. S at the end means more than one. one. You don't know the trick. To be a good teacher, you always have to learn how to teach from the side. Because people can't see you through there. <laughs> y at the end of the word can have two sounds. It can have an I sound, like fly, 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 fly. Or E like a baby. Wonky E shows up and does nothing. But a silent E makes the middle vowel say its name. name. Say my name, say my name. And the E is... Here we have our, our vowels, let's say the names. A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels of the alphabet. All right, good readers look for what they know before they even start. Do you see any words you know? I know this one. Okay, what's this word? Wood. Wood. Karen, what word do you see wood. that you know? Do you see a word you know? Um, wood. Wood. You. You. Like. Like. Go. Go. Would you like to go? With. With. Me. Me. To. To. Hawaii. 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 April Fools. Ha <laughs> there we go. Good readers, good teachers know to teach the side. April Fools. Would you. You. Huh? You want to point first? <laughs> You're going to point. One tap, one word, one to one corresponds, then you can have a turn. And let's go ahead and get your pointers up. Do it with us. Say it with us, kindergartners. Go ahead. I'm going to show you how we do this. Would you like, I want to hear you saying it, to go with me to Hawaii? April Fools. Gracie, you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's put down our pretzels. To the side. Good teachers learn how to teach to the side. Here we go. Would, oh, I want to hear you saying it too. Would you like to go with me 
to Hawaii? April Fools. <laughs> All right, kindergartners. Let's find out what we have on our message. Miss Root was going to go to Hawaii for spring break, but we can't go to Hawaii. With coronavirus, everybody needs to stay home and be safe. Yeah, we need to be safe. So, um, that's my April Fools. Would you like to go to Hawaii with me? April Fools. Nobody's going to Hawaii. But Today, for writing, I do want you to write about where would you go if you could go anywhere? Where would be the best place to take a vacation? Would you go to the beach? Would you go to the mountains? Would you go to Hawaii? Would you go to Disneyland? Would you go to Legoland? I think I know a couple people would pick that one. Would you go... Hmm, where else could you go? Disney. Would you go to Japan? Japan. Would you go to China? Would you go to Hong Kong? Where would you go if you could go anywhere? Brazil. Uh, Brazil. Why? Because it's big and it has a lot of jungles. Ooh, Karen. Where would you go if you could um, go anywhere? Japan. Japan. Why? Because it has a very rich culture and. Okay. A lot of the things are, are really cool, and I think that I would like it. Ah, nice. Good reason. Where would you go if you could go anywhere? Where would you go on vacation? Where would you go if you could go anywhere? I'm part of the beach. The beach! <laughs> Gracie uh, likes the beach. Where would you go? Hawaii. Hawaii. Why? What, what, what's your because? because I would go to Hawaii. It has all the because <laughs> people say oi there. I would go, if I could go anywhere in the world for vacation, I think I would go somewhere with a beach because I like, I don't like laying on the beach. Miss Root is somebody who cannot take vacations and just lay around. I have to do things. So I like walking on the beach. Miss Root's somebody who would walk. I would walk, walk, walk. I've walked miles and miles on beaches everywhere. And I love it. I love it. But I love the beach. I love the ocean. All right. Let's see what we have today for writing. That's what you're going to do. You're going to write, where would you go if you could go anywhere for vacation? Where would you go? And tell me why. Tell me the because. All right. I see a sight word. My sight word, wood, is on the first line. Wood is on the first line. Let's spell the letters in wood. Spell the letters. W-O-U-L-D, wood. What do you see in that word? I see an O U L, but it doesn't make an L sound. It's wonky. Good. Go get scissors. I see you on the first line. I see you. Yep. I see you. Let's go ahead and spell you. Spell it with me. Y O U U. What's in you? Wonky O U. Wonky O U. And on the first line, there's a lot of sight words in this message because we're practicing that word. So, like, I see the sight word like. Spell the letters in like with me. L-I-K-E, like. And like has a silent E at the end. Like has a silent E at the end. Ooh, it's making that I good. say I. I'm on in one. On the second line, we have the sight word two. T-O-2. And the sight word go, like at the end of Diego, go, G-O, go. And the sight word with, with. Go ahead and spell the sight word with with me. W-I-T-H. What letter pair is that? T-H. And finally, the word me. On the second line is me. M-E, me. Oh, I have two twos. I always put two sight word twos in the message. Two twos. T O two on the third line. Hawaii. Hawaii. August. How do you spell Hawaii? Uh H A W A I I. Uh-huh. Do you know why, why it has the I I there? No, I don't. Why is that? Why is that? Well, it's because Hawaii is actually a uh, Hawaiian word. It's from the language of the people in Hawaii. So it's not actually an English word. It's um, a Hawaiian word. So that's why in Hawaiian, they have an I-I together. Would you see that in English? No. No, you wouldn't. All right. What do we see on the fourth line? What do we see on the fourth line? We see the word April. Let's spell April together. Spell it with me. 
A P R I L. And finally, we have fools. Fools. Let's spell fools on the fourth line. F O O L apostrophe S. This little mark is called an apostrophe. What is in fools? F N O L. O O, just like root, right? Just like root. root fools. O O, fools. Look at that. F. There's an S, but this is telling you. Um, that it, it, it's not more than one. It's just telling you that it's a fool's. It's whose April is it? It's a fool's April. Mm -hmm. All right, the last thing we need to do with our morning meeting, because it is April, we have a new chicken soup with rice. So I want you to say it with me. I'm going to read it first, and then we're going to read it all together. Are you boys ready? All right. April, April. In April, I will go away to far off Spain or old Bombay. Bombay is a city in India. Oh, they're going on vacation too. Oh, our writing is perfect for today. I'm going to start it again. In April, I will go away to far off Spain or old Bombay. Bombay is in India. They have elephants in India. And dream about hot soup all day. Oh my, oh once. Oh my, oh twice. Oh my, oh chicken soup with rice. All right, boys, you ready? They're, they're dancing. You can watch them dance while they do this, okay? Here we go. In April, I will go away to far off Spain or old Bombay and dream about hot soup all day. Oh my, oh once, oh my, oh twice, oh my, oh chicken soup with rice. They were embarrassed to do the real dancing. They were doing, they were doing some funky dancing. Do you want to do it with the real dancing? No, I'll start right, reading it. They're, they're okay. All right, today I want you to have a wonderful day. Go out. And enjoy the sun if the sun comes out, or enjoy the clouds a little bit. Um, make sure that you're doing your writing. Make sure you're doing some reading. Make sure you are doing some laughing. And make sure you're thinking in your brain, what would your April Fools be, okay? But write to me about what you, where you would go on vacation and why, okay? Have a great day. Happy April Fools. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Keep sending the pictures.